Oh, what's going on, guys? It's Troy Dan here. And today, we've got the 20 most disrespectful moments in the NBA. When I think of the most disrespectful moment in the NBA, I probably think of the time that Steph Curry pasted in that guy's cup and made him drink it. Or was that a dream? I don't know. I've not seen this yet. Link in the description below. We already know, though. It is from Rebound. Make sure you sub 32 times. 3, 2, 1. Go. Spinning in a player's face to dropping bodies on the court. Oh! These are the NBA's top 20 most disrespectful moments. Is LeBron moments. retiring? And coming into number 20 on our list, Shaq. he got a dunk so disrespectful, it made a grown man cry. Here's Shaq. Oh, I've seen these one. I like Chris Lake near us. Yo. He shoved him. That was... Oh, now Dudley. Oh, I thought it was but someone else. That's seven foot one Shaq. What's even more disrespectful is number 19. When seven foot six Yao Ming went up for a dunk on five foot nine Nate Robinson. Oh, he blocked him, didn't he? That's a classic. I forgot about that one. Nate the Great, dude. Way before he'd get knocked out by a YouTuber. Is that racist? This five foot nine man just slayed the giant and had Yao hiding his face in shame. Disrespectful. But an even worse moment has to be number 18. When Damian Lillard hit the shot of shots over Paul George. Oh, so he went back to his uh, boys and got uh, really excited, right? I mean, yeah, it was disrespectful. That shot was disrespectful. <laughs> Where's the meme? There's a meme in this. Not only did Dame knock the Thunder out of the playoffs with a crazy deep contested three, but this man waved goodbye afterwards too. Damn, that's cold. Now, a crazy three isn't the only way to disrespect. He had a, a crazy one the Sometimes, other night. Sometimes the disrespect comes from what you say, like number ben seventeen. Simmons. Pay attention to Ben Simmons and Yusuf Nurkic here. Hell no. What? What? That, oh, these are grown men and you're talking like that. You talking a lot of sugar for being ass. That's, you don't do that. Do you? Damn. Ben really said you talking a lot of sh for being ass. Yeah, dude. That what hurts, is it? man. Yo, Ben now, Simmons way we better. we talk about Lance Stevenson because this dude's been blowing on ears and dancing on people for years. Shout but to Lance. his most disrespectful moment comes in at number 16. No, no, he was lagging, man. There's no way. No one man gets that broken. Off. No What's way. What's really disrespectful about this clip is that Lance Stevenson doesn't actually cross Jeff Green over. He oh, he trips on him. He his shoe and made him fall. That was, that Stevenson makes sense. just played the entire arena acting like he did something. <laughs> I want to see a real crossover. <laughs> Thankfully, James Harden's got us covered with number 15. Surprised that it's gone this James way. Harden. Did you think it was certain to work? I thought it was gonna be right, man, Ah, dude, that hurt. Is it sweet Lou? Wait, who'd he do it to? No, never mind. Who's that? Yo, look at the score. That score is disrespectful. Who's that? That is the most disrespectful crossover I've ever seen. But that's not the only moment Harden's been a part of. Coming in at number 14, we have a moment between the Lakers and Rockets. Oh, this wasn't even that long ago. They were playing a heated matchup that went down to the wire. Brandon Ingram gets frustrated when he gets called for a foul on James Harden, and he shoves the hell out of him. Before the gather. Was Lonzo? I don't think Lonzo is playing this game, man. But that's not even the disrespectful part of this clip. Oh, there he is, Lonzo! Seconds oh, man, dude, Chris stuff Paul goes down, Lonzo. And Rondo start arguing, and Rondo hit Paul with the move that was out of line. He spit in Chris Paul's face, and all hell breaks loose. I forgot about that. It's hot now. Paul oh, punches a throw. I forgot he spit Paul, on him. Throw, he punches. Ingram comes in. He's Yo, they lucky punches. Lonzo not fired up, dude. Security trying to separate. So he, he would, he would throw. Uh, I think he could take everyone here. Be Look at that fatty. Look at that. Did you see that whale? Back to the that was, holy dude. He ate. Was it Taco drives. Night in LA? Still Damn. Rondo really spit on Chris Paul. And, and you want to know why Rondo did that? Because Chris didn't drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, that's right. If you don't support the channel, then Rondo will pull up and spit on you too. I, I, I that's don't why want I, that. I haven't got so spit what on you yet. doing? But anyways, 
The only way you can make a fight more disrespectful is laughing at the guy who's trying to fight. Junior! Like J.R. Smith did with number 13. And he got it. hit a tough shot. Baines and J.R. get hooked up. Oh, J.R. with a push. Yo, it's Braun Strowman. Yo, he got fired. I heard Braun Strowman got canned. This Yo, look at J.R. laughing, dude. You know Marcus Smart I love was really mad, man. You got JR over here laughing his ass off while he's getting chased around the court. That's tough. But that's not as bad as number 12, when LeBron James bullied a rookie. Yeah, Ugh. pay attention to this guy right here. That is Frank Nielakina. And he was in his rookie NBA season when LeBron decided to get disrespectful with them for literally no reason. Oh, is that why Ennis was going at him? And it's one of the few people that can like size up LeBron. Yo, and, and, and it's like I ain't put up with your crap. <laughs> Respect what to Andy's man. Bro? This dude's 19 years LeBron old. About that. Running into him, standing over him for no reason. Come on, man. But trust yeah, me, man, this sad. is far from LeBron's most disrespectful play. Cause we this one play literally defines Jason Terry. I mean, just listen to him talk about it. And then the worst thing about Ooh. this is, every mm. time I go, I'm, I'm, I'm in arenas or I'm at the grocery right. store, little kids coming up to me, hey, hey, aren't you Jason Terry? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, me. That's me. Did, why did LeBron dunk me? <laughs> 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 I thought you asked for autograph. Right. the dunk. Can Man. we show? But not every play has to be this crazy to be disrespectful. Sometimes a player is just sensitive and they get offended easily. Just like number 10, featuring Robin Lopez. Yo, if that guy was a seven foot feet tall and playing basketball, I think he was on drugs always. You can say that about me. Whoa. That, Robin Lopez. Who dunked on? Who did? Robin Lopez says, don't look at me like that. <laughs> Dude, that guy got scared for his life. Jared Culver said three words. Jared Cole. And barely stared at this man. And Lopez gets all Dude, his I'm running. Feelings. I'd be running too. I ain't making fun of but him. But coming in at number nine, we got to talk about how disrespectful Jared Dudley is. He drunk? See, he came back in 2019, drunk? Dudley had some beef with Ben Simmons. And after hitting a three against Philly, Dudley was feeling himself <laughs> and decided to disrespect not only Ben Simmons, but everyone watching the game as well. Oh, great. Jared Dudley, the Dudley boys. Wait, what do he do? How the hell does Jared Dudley think he is? How, how is the it hell are you gonna be built like a chicken nugget and hold your arms out like you're Mike Tyson? I feel disrespected right now. You haven't earned the right to gloat like that. But at least Mr. Potato Head didn't scream in someone's face. Like Wait, Marcus what? Hold Lewis on, you put that in the top 20 most disrespectful moments of all time? Jared Dudley putting his hands to Number the Number eight. What? Wait, what? Shot clock down to five. Morris goes right at Thompson, counted at one. And Morris yells in the Thompson's face. That one's got a technical. A chance for the traditional three-point play. Tristan got a whiff of that Morris breath. Ugh. I'm surprised a fight didn't break out. Like when Morris went out of his way to this stand over Larry that's that, Nance that's that's Jr. and number that was seven. Number seventh all-time moment, Morris. Throws it up, ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Morris. What an outstanding play. Oh, oh shit, Larry Nance got mad. Probably because his career sucks. Sorry, he makes way more money than all of us. He's fine. He's fine. Morris started to walk away. After knocking down Nance, he said something to him. Did he knock him down? <laughs> Come on, man. That's man. messed up. But hey, at least Morris didn't straight up tackle Nance to the ground. Because that's exactly what happened in number six. Ricky Rubio. Here come the Jets. Oh, Jesus. Rubio, Rubio a little rough. And Encouraging them. Does team just body slam? Bro, what, what the oh, hell? Yeah. I mean, I know he's frustrated <laughs> at the non Does this man not know what sport he's playing? He can't I, I, just I think run he's uh, full playing hockey. And tackling. The hell are you thinking? He's trying right, to check now, we've the been boys. looking at a lot of recent disrespectful moments, but for number five, we got to take a look at a classic. When Scottie Pippen completely humiliated one of the toughest guys the NBA has ever seen, Patrick Ewing. The block. Oh, fart on a lady while she walks her dog. That was groovy. 
Wait, someone have glasses on? Hold on. Hold on. I need to check this for my own mental sake because I've been seeing demons lately. Did he have glasses on? He did. Oh, sorry. That's Horace Grant. I thought it was Michael Jordan. Never mind. I thought that was Michael Jordan. Like, answer to John Stark's Yikes. spectacular dunk last year. That's a hell of a dunk, though, dude. And he, oh, the little push, man. And he hovered over oh, he tried to grab his cock. He wanted a sandwich. Like Ball sandwich. This man not only put Ewing Ball on a poster, cock. but he even threw a little smack on the way down. I'm honestly surprised this didn't turn into a fight. I mean, we've this seen how fights it was, break man. out just from a little shove, like number four. When did, the, when did the league get soft? Was it like late 90s? No. I feel like they could. There's some more disrespectful stuff from back Still in the day. Pretty sure some guy got punched in the face, ended his career for most. Most this play is extra disrespectful because Chris Paul was legitimately just trying to get a loose ball. And this dude decided to push him with his back turned. What the hell well was he dang. thinking? But that fight could have been way worse. I mean, just take a look at number three. Whoa! Oh. Abaka appeared to touch it. Ball was out of bounds. Nobody touch it. Yo! What the hell? Yo! Abaka don't play, man. Buck one of those few guys that bring fear in your heart. Hand in your eyes. I don't know what that man said to Ibaka, but yeah, what did he say? It was disrespectful. All right, we're coming down to the wire here, and it's time to ramp things there up. Go, so with Steph P's in the cup. Steph Curry's oh. game-winning shot against OKC. Oh yeah, I, I watched this. Watch this live. Go rebound taken by Iguodala. This they was crazy, man. Out. This was nuts. Decide not to use it. Curry, way downtown. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Dude, Curry. what a shot, man. With six tenths of a what second. What a amazing. shot. Literally like, everything about this clip is disrespectful. The shot itself, the fact that they had a timeout that they could have used to set up a play, <laughs> Steph dancing and celebrating. I mean, this is just disgusting. But if we're going to talk disrespectful moments, you can't leave out Allen Iverson. This what? man has highlight after highlight, dropping people oh, with crossovers. Oh, 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 but oh we all know number one. It's 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 Lou. It's Tyron Lou. And disrespectful. Right. And my number one pick. Yeah. When Allen Iverson this stepped is over to Ron Lou. This is disrespectful, man. This is, I forgot about this. And then the step, the step. He had all the room in the world, but chose to step over the man. He could have went left. He could have went right. But no, straight through the man, now like he's that nothing. Is disrespect. Let him see. It. He got to sniff his ball. Something that's even more disrespectful. Not clicking on this video. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Twenty most disrespectful NBA moments. Obviously, these aren't the real top twenty. But they were all disrespectful to a to a sense. I I feel like there's some crazy stuff that happened in the 80s. I mean, we didn't see any of it. There was fights and punches and people getting hurt. It was a great time. You had to have been there, guys. If you get a video like, is that a real car? Whoa, that's nice. I, I think about buying a Tesla X. Does anyone think that's a good idea? The X model Model X. Guys, if you got a video you'd like me to watch react to, you can tweet me at Troyden under the hashtag Troyden Reacts. Thank you for watching. And kids, I have functioning autism.